hatching 100 retired eggs in Adopt Me. The retired egg costs 600 bucks, with a 3% chance of a legendary, and a very high 15% chance of an ultra rare. By opening all 100, we should get 3 legendaries. I'm going to be spending so much Robux and instantly hatching all 100 of these eggs to find out if I can go and get the maximum amount of legendaries, and we started off with an otter. The counter underneath will show how many of a legendary, how many an ultra rare, how many of what category pet we go and hatch. To go and test out if the odds are correct, we actually just got a red panda on the second egg. Now, some of you guys are confused by what the retired egg actually is. It's basically all of the old pets that used to be in the cracked egg, but now transformed into a retired egg since all of those pets got removed. And we got a snow puma. So for anyone wondering how do you get a cat or how do you get a dog, you can hatch them out of a retired egg. That is the only way you can hatch a classic cat or a classic dog inside of Adopt Me. You'll probably see me demonstrate it in a second. Wait, did you see that? Like, the board just vanished. We hatch back-to-back -back snow pumas. Now, in the last video where I hatched 100 eggs, I managed to get quite a lot of legendaries. I hatched three or four legendaries in a row, which was like the most insane odds to ever exist in Adopt Me. So if I'm able to go and beat those odds again, then that would statistically kind of be insane. So let's go and use an instant hatch again, and you guys need to hope for some good luck, because we're gonna be going and testing out some myths to find out if we can go and guarantee ourselves to get the legendary. So, let's go and hatch this one more time, and then test out if there's a technique that will always give me a legendary inside of Adopt Me, and see if those TikTok myths are a scam, or do they actually work. Believe it or not, we just hatched three Fennec Foxes in a row. So there's always this myth online that says that if you go and equip the egg that you want to hatch, and then you click the thing that you want to get, so we're gonna click the, the legendary button one, two, three, three times, so you've gotta like, hover it and click it, and then you press hatch now, supposedly it will theoretically go and give me the legendary. Now, this is according to a random TikTok that I found on a tutorial, so I'm not sure how much I should trust it. Instead, I got a rabbit. So, uh, that definitely did not work, but we're gonna test it again for, for good measure. So, let's click the legendary section, then press hatch now, see if it gives me any luck. Probably not, but we're gonna test the theory anyway and see if it goes and gives me a legendary. Now, the legendaries that you can hatch out of this egg are only two. There's two legendaries, the unicorn or the red dragon. For anyone wondering, that's how you go and get those pets. You can still hatch them. Lots of people think that there's no way to hatch a unicorn inside of Adopt Me. Also, if you're wondering how do you get into this location, you need to own VIP which uh, cost about like 500 or something Robux. It also gives you access to the VIP lounge, which um, is just kind of like a little viewing area. It doesn't really give you any added bonus, but we're gonna stand here anyway and test out if the viewing area gives me any magical luck. And instead, we got a rabbit, which, uh, which is not what we were after. And uh, it, it looks like my girlfriend's pet rabbit but let's go and hatch another one and see if we can get a legendary. So far, we've not been doing amazing. We want to go and eventually get something good. And we got a beaver. So the next myth is if you say what you want to go and hatch before you go and hatch it, sometimes you go and get it. Now, honestly, this has actually worked for me in the past. And it might just be an extreme chance of coincidence. But we're going to test it out. And we got ourselves a Shiba Inu which is our second ultra rare pet, and hopefully we get a minimum of 15 ultra rares. Obviously, there is a chance that we could go and get 10 ultra rares, or there's also a chance that I could go and get 20 ultra rares. The luck is completely random, so let's have a look what we get. This player said, can I have one? You know what, I will uh, happily Go and give you a Fennec Fox. Take it, take it, it's all yours. If you want it that much, by all means. So each of these retired eggs are 600 bucks. So uh, someone let me know in the comments how much bucks I spent on this video and Robux because it's probably a lot. And is it worth it? We are using it as a science experiment. I would not recommend spending this much Robux 
on instant hatching of retired egg. Obviously, you can go and hatch these things completely for free, and you don't need Robux to hatch it. I mean, I just spent 600 bucks and um, a bunch of Robux to get a regular cat. We literally hatched a common cat. I could have made a brand new Roblox account and um, just simply got that for free. Like, you can literally get that for free as the first ever pet that every single player who joins Adopt Me goes and gets, which is kind of disappointing. And we got ourselves another uncommon. So, so far, we have got a wide mix of pets, which are all very pointless to me. Like, realistically, I do not need these pets. We can see we have got a bunch of them. But our goal is to get the legendary and use science to test if those odds are actually correct and find out if Adobe is lying to us or not. And we got ourselves a chocolate Labrador, which now gives us time to test out the second myth. For the next myth, we need to go ahead inside of the nursery because we're going to be going and using the nursery board. So let's go and use a hatch now to go and hatch one while we're waiting. So you see this board? Well, supposedly, if we stand behind it, we go and get to select what the pet is. I'm sure you've all heard of this myth before because everyone has said this a million times and you probably watched a tutorial which got like a million views. So let's uh, go onto the list and uh, it's in order of like rarity. So we want a legendary and there it is there's the unicorn so we click the unicorn then we click the egg and then we hatch it there is no way that this scientifically works this 100 has to be a myth but we're gonna go and test this out anyway to find out if this myth actually works bro that does not look like a unicorn in any way or sense of form that is shocking so uh let's try that again i mean it's even got a unicorn on it so let's click here then click here if this is a unicorn that would be great and if it's a cat then i will be very sad and we got a shiba which is an ultra rare i will happily take an ultra rare obviously it is not a legendary and we are here to chase the legendaries why? Because the legendaries are the coolest pets in the game, the rarest pets, and yeah, I probably realistically could have just, uh, we got a Fennec Fox, I could have just bought one ride potion with the amount of Robux that I was trading, and I could have got all three legendaries, believe it or not. I, I could literally have done that. I could have spent 150 Robux and traded it for the legendaries that I probably won't even hatch out of this video, but that is not for science. We are here to test out if these things actually work click the unicorn click the hatch now and see if it works but let's find out and we got a beaver so i think we can officially confirm that the unicorn myth is definitely busted as it's not going and giving me a unicorn unless it wants to change my mind right now which would be absolutely amazing so please prove me wrong by hatching a unicorn this exact second and we got yeah, we got a Puma. That myth does not work. We have busted that one 100%. I always get good luck when I go and hatch eggs inside my own house, inside of Adopt Me. I'm not sure if there is a reason behind it, but we're going to test that out. So I'm just inside of my house, inside of like the, the giant house, and let's see if that gives me any luck. And we got a beaver. Well, that didn't work. So let's test out the next myth. Apparently... If your pet is inside of a bathtub, honestly, I don't know who comes up with this stuff, but um, it's true apparently, and then you hatch it, is it gives you the legendary. So we're going to test this out 10 times, find out if we get a legendary by going and having our egg in a bathtub, starting off with a rabbit. So uh, yeah, that one didn't work, but we're going to test it again because I want scientific proof to know if the myth is fake or if it's true like let's find out so let's put another one in surely one of these has to give me a legendary and we got another rabbit is that a magic trick i just pulled out two rabbits in a row that sounds like a pretty bad magic trick to me i would quite happily like um two legendaries in a row i mean we did do it before so there is a chance that we could do it again which would be very nice and we got a a red panda definitely better than the um the rabbit but let's test this out on the fourth egg inside of the bathtub tiktok hack finds out if that actually goes and gives me the legendary so be sure to leave this video a like it cost me so much robux and i hope you guys do enjoy me going and spending all my robux 
for uh, your entertainment. So do like this video and subscribe and I'll give away a bunch of these pets to someone who does both. And we did just get a second ultra rare in a row, which is nice. We're definitely getting up there. So we got two rares and then two ultra rares, which kind of means that the next thing should be two legendaries, mathematically. Like if it follows the sequence, right? And we got a fennec fox. Let's test this out a couple more times and wait, my retired egg actually needed that as a task, which is kind of funny. And a retired egg? Oh, wait. It only needs two tasks? I've been wasting my Robux when it only needs two tasks? Are you kidding me? I could have done that the whole time. I didn't need to spend all my Robux? Let's do a manual hatch. Why did I not think of this? What did I get? Please be a rabbit, okay. Maybe not, maybe it's not a good idea. So it's because I'm filming this when the 2x weekend is and influencers get double pet aging, in case anyone's wondering like, oh, how did you uh, manage that? So let's test it again inside of the bathtub, going and hatching it manually. Did not give me any bonus luck, unfortunately. And we got ourselves a ultra rare red panda. Okay, so, so far we got 66 eggs left in the mix. I'd be happy if we were to get one legendary by now. Mathematically, the 66th egg should be a legendary based on the odds that it is one in three, okay? Based on the odds that we should get three legendaries out of um, all 100, technically the 66th egg should have been a legendary. But there's no like mathematical equation to guarantee it. There's no like guarantee of how many legendaries I'd get. I'm pretty sure it's just completely random. Now, where did my eggs go? Okay, somehow they managed to make that all the way down to the bottom. Which I, I don't know how. So let's go and do another instant hatch. Come on, I'm feeling lucky. This has got to be the legendary. It's got to be any time now, please. A bunny. I forgot that there was a bunny and there's a rabbit. that like technically the same pet. They come out of the same egg. It's a very strange one. Anyway, retired egg. This is going to be the last instant hatch going and testing it out here. And then we're going to test out the... And then we're gonna test out if going and manually hatching it actually works. That's right, I'm gonna manually hatch the next set of 10 retired eggs to find out if that is going to give me the luck. Because going and using my Robux is clearly not working. We have opened so much and wasted so much Robux on these eggs to only receive terrible stuff. So hopefully right now we're gonna go and get something good. And we've just got to pray and wait for a couple tasks to appear so we can go and hatch it. I've got two tasks, double pet aging, let's go and manually hatch some retired eggs, find out if that goes and gives me the legendaries that I am after. So, second task is to go and eat some food, and this is going to go and hatch right in front of us, and we're going to find out if we get a unicorn or a dragon, hopefully we get one of the two, and we got a fennec fox. Next egg, going and aging it up and hatching it manually, this has got to be the legendary, like, Mathematically, we haven't had the legendary yet. We're doing really bad based on what we have hatched. Please, 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 can we get something good? And we got a bunny. Are you kidding? Wow, we're doing so bad. Let's try this again. It takes a while to go and get these tasks, but having the double pet aging was definitely a good idea. I'm not sure I didn't even think about considering that when I realized I was going to go and hatch 100 eggs. Of course, having double pet aging is going to be very beneficial. And we got a another bunny. Are you kidding? How many bunnies have we hatched in this video out of these eggs? That is kind of insane. Yeah, we have hatched a lot of bunnies and a lot of rabbits and not a lot of good stuff. Next egg, this one has to be a good one. Like, the amount of eggs that we've already gone and opened and we haven't hit one legendary yet. Surely, this has to be a legendary. So we've got another task straight away to go and have my little egg go and do and then it's gonna go and hatch. This double pet aging, very, very useful on hatching these retired eggs. I'm not sure how many you typically need when it's not double pet aging, but please be a legendary. And we got a red panda. All right, let's go another ultra rare, but that is not the legendary that we are looking for. 
So, so far, we have nearly gone through half of the eggs and not got one single legendary. By the way, I have uh, spent over an hour just waiting for these eggs to get tasks to um, go and hatch them, which uh, honestly, I forgot how long it takes to manually hatch eggs. I'm just so used to wasting my Robux on them. And what do we get? Please, I beg you. I, An otter. Wow. Nearly halfway through and not even one single legendary. We're going to go and test it out by manually hatching one more egg. Last manual egg hatch. This has to be the one. Literally, if not, I might have the worst luck possible inside of Adopt Me today because this would be absolutely shocking if we don't get one. At least I'm earning bucks by going and manually hatching these, which is a nice little added bonus considering I'm normally spending my Robux. Also, we're getting double bucks, which is good. So whatever I earn is doubled because of the double bucks aging. And please, please, please be a legendary. We got another Shiba. So we're not doing bad based on what ultra rares we're getting. We are just doing absolutely shocking based on the legendaries, which is uh, very unfortunate because I would love to hatch a unicorn, please. A snow puma. Oh dear, this is actually, actually terrible. So what we're going to go and do is test out the next myth to find out if that is going to give me any luck. As honestly, I will take anything right now. I will do anything that it takes to go and get a legendary. So instant hatch. Let's go and do a little bit of ice skating. See if that gives me any luck. And what's that? A buffalo. I forgot that that pet was even in this egg. Like I didn't even know that we could hatch that. So we're going to go inside of the neon cave. Do you want to know why? Because we need a neon. That's right. We could go and use an instant hatch while inside of the neon cave. And theoretically it gives you the legendary. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I believe this whatsoever, because this never works. So I did watch this video where it said, first of all, go speak to Nixie. Second of all, go up to here and click the egg three times when you equip it. But this is like the craziest thing I might have ever heard. Um, they just, I don't even know. This is what the video told me. And if I don't get a legendary, then I am going to be very upset with this YouTuber because they said it's 100%. So, um, I hope. A rabbit? Shocking. Shocking. Okay. We are now nearly at the halfway point. I know I said that a minute ago, but clearly I can't count. So, we have 53 eggs left. And we're gonna get the legendary, another snow puma. Oh no, okay, let's stand on this crystal. This has got to be the one. This has got to be it. I'm feeling lucky. You guys are feeling lucky. You are um, watching my bank um, just disappear. All my Robux just vanish. It's a magic trick. Okay, that one doesn't work. Let's stand on this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm a good magician. I can pull um, a rabbit out of a retired egg. I can also spend thousands of uh, Robux and hatch the worst pets possible no no which is so sad please at least one it's, it's gonna be one legendary we have reached the halfway point and not even one legend we hatched a dog a regular dog surely this is the one cross your fingers like this video and subscribe with your eyes closed and we'll get a legendary and i'll give it away to one of you guys who comments on this video is it gonna work no, maybe, you know what, I got a better idea. I have to have my eyes closed. That's why, it's because the legendaries don't come out when uh, when you're looking. They're a bit like scared, you know, that's why, right? That's why, they've got to be a little bit scared. And what do we get? A, a Fennec Fox? Oh my word, this is terrible. I know the odds were 3%, but we should have got one legendary. Oh my word, that is insane. That is so insane. A puma. Oh. Oh no, no, no. This is absolutely shocking. All of my my Robux um, vanished. Please, please prove me wrong right now. Another puma. Back to back pumas. I didn't think that was going to happen. Hatch again. If I get another puma, I will cry. I mean, this myth is busted. I think we have busted every myth. 
there is no such thing as hatching any legendary out of the retired egg. I don't think it's physically possible at this point. We have hatched none out of 50 eggs. That is so sad. I should have hatched at least one. Oh no, oh no, okay. Let's test something else out then. I'm trying to think what would the location that a red dragon would like to be is. And I'm thinking a red throne. So maybe, just maybe, if I go and stand on the red throne and instant hatch it will get the dragon honestly i've got no clue but i will test anything at this point we got an otter i will do anything to get one legendary if i get at least one then i will be satisfied because of the amount of robux we have spent on this video if we do not get one legendary i am going to be absolutely devastated a chocolate Labrador. Imagine I actually open all 100 and I get zero legendaries. That would be shocking. No one will ever buy a retired egg again. If anything, I think this just proves that we got a Puma. This proves that uh, the value of a, a unicorn and a red dragon are gonna increase once uh, this video goes up. Everyone will be like, uh, those are more valuable now. I saw how rare it is to hatch it. So it's, uh, it's a lot more valuable, a beaver, oh, 40 eggs left, this is devastating, not even one legendary, absolutely gutted, we did get another ultra rare, there we go, another Shiba, but that is not the pet we are looking for, also the Shiba doesn't really have much value, which is a shame, because it is a pretty cool pet, but there's just so many of them. And we got a chocolate Labrador, which has absolutely zero value. So, hatching these on this throne definitely is not giving me the red dragon luck. And by the way, I actually have all of these pets as megas, so honestly, I, I don't know why I'm trying to hatch it. Uh, because it's not even a valuable pet. But for science... For science, you want to see me waste my Robux? That's that's why we're doing it. Because no one else is uh, silly enough to spend this much Robux hatching retired eggs. Which is why I'm here. To waste my Robux for you. Because no one else will, will go and do it. Okay? And we got a dog. A lovely little dog. That is absolutely shocking. 34 retired eggs left. Oh, I am so devastated. You know what? I'm going to have to head to, like, the Christmas area. And pray that, like, the Christmas area gives me some luck or something. Because this is terrible. A snow cat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so last episode, when I last hatched um, 100 eggs, I did it in the Christmas area. And while I was there, I hatched, like, four legendaries in a row. I'm not even kidding. We hatched back-to-back -back legendaries. It's now your time to give me another Shiba. Okay, we'll take it. Definitely a good start, but it's not the legendary that we're after. But this has got to be it. This has got to be the one. We're in the Christmas area. We should have reached our second legendary by now. And we got a Snow Puma. Wow, wow, wow. This is devastating. Absolutely devastating. We haven't actually, um, we haven't done well which is a shame. Hopefully this is the one. This is the one. Pray for me, guys. We did get another ultra rare, a red panda. 30 eggs left. We should have reached the second legendary. If it's a 3% chance, that means you get three legendaries out of opening 100 eggs. And uh, because that's just how maths works, that's the percentage. Obviously, it's not guaranteed. I think we might actually prove that to you today. If we don't hatch a legendary, I am going to be gutted. We got another snow cat. It's not looking good, guys. The last 29 eggs I have left better all be legendary. If these are not all legendaries, then uh, this is a fail. This is like the biggest fail in Adopt Me history. Please. No! A dog? I feel like this just isn't fair at this point. I know I'm lucky. I know I got a lot of legendaries in the last episode. But really? Not even one legendary with uh, 30 eggs left. And what did we get? 
A beaver. Oh, this is so sad. You guys don't hear me just complain. You want to see me get the legendary, right? So everyone, like this video and cross your fingers. I got my fingers crossed. I'm going to cross these ones, these ones, and these ones. And it worked. We got an ultra rare, but that's not the legendary. Let me cross my fingers again. You guys have to do this as well. Cross your fingers, please. All of them. I'm crossing every single thing possible. We've got a fennec fox. Oh, this is... Oh, no. Oh, no. I honestly don't even know what to do at this point. Santa Claus, give me some luck. I, I need the luck somehow, somewhere, over the rainbow, please. An uncommon. An uncommon. Chat, this is so, so sad. Where has my luck gone? I thought I would get at least one. Maybe Adult Me forgot to add the legendaries in it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They forgot. Adult Me clearly made a mistake. We haven't hatched a legendary. They must have forgotten to put the legendaries in the egg. That's why. That's obviously what happened, guys. And what do we get? <gasps> ah, a bunny. I so thought that was a unicorn. 22 eggs left. That's insane. That is actually insane. Let's hatch this, please. Please, 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 please. We got another Sheba. Wow. We have not done bad for hatching Shebas and stuff, have we? I wonder if we've beaten the odds on hatching Ultra Rares, which is why we're not getting any Legendaries. Hopefully, like, we'll get five Legendaries in a row. Please. Please. No. Nope. A Puma. Ah! Ah! Please! <laughs> this is gutting. I've never had this much bad luck. And I bet all of you guys in the comments are going to say, I hatched one retired egg. <gasps> oh my goodness. Let's go. The unicorn. Finally. That cost me, what? 80 eggs. 80 eggs. How much bucks is 80 eggs? Wow. Should we calculate that? So it's 600 bucks per, uh, per egg. And that took me 80 eggs. 48,000 bucks. 48,000. Oh, that costs so much. That is the world's most expensive unicorn. We're going to name it expensive. This cost me 46,000 bucks. Oh, that's so expensive. I, I don't even know what to say. We got one. I'm happy about it. I'm not happy how I got it. <laughs> we did get another ultra rare though. I will take the ultra rares all day, every day, any day, any second. Um, I would appreciate if I got another legendary though. I think we are overdue another legendary pet. The, the last, all of these eggs have to be good. Because if not, this, um, this test, wait. What? What did that say? What did that say? I skipped it. It it didn't let me hatch it, right? Did it did it think I've spent too much Robux? Because I wouldn't be surprised. Roblox has like this system that if you spend too much money at once, it will block your payments. And um clearly we just keep buying stuff and Roblox must think, oh yeah, he's been hacked. That's how, um, that's how silly this is of how much Robux I've spent. <laughs> Please, this could be it. This is, good. this is the one. This is the one. This is a Shiba. Okay. An ultra rare. Not the legendary. We've got to get one of each legendary. We've got to get one of each. I could have, um, bought like, what, a hundred peppermint penguins for the same price? <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. What is a better deal? A hundred peppermint penguins? Or a uh, hundred instant hatches where we get a snow cat. At least I will have 100 classic pets. That's right. All of these pets are classic, retro, valuable. Everyone wants them, right? No, because they will forever be in the game. It's not like it's going to be an egg where the pets will rise in value. It's because the retired egg is always going to be in the game and the same pets will always be available. So these pets don't really increase in value. Of course, you do need VIP to go and get, um, go and get these eggs. 
But obviously, um, you can just go and trade for them as well. But come on, this has got to be a dog. Wow, imagine we open all 100 and we only get one legendary. Those odds are going to be shocking. To be fair, when I did go and open these, I actually had terrible odds as well. Let's go and buy that box. Not to open now, uh, save that for later. But when I did open these, I had terrible odds and I only got one legendary out of like opening 40 boxes and we should have got like, uh, we should have got a lot more than that. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's do a couple more. We don't have many left. I'm feeling lucky. I, f I hope I am a buffalo. Wow, the chat must think I'm actually like silly because they can see how much Robux I've spent. And uh, obviously I had to spend Robux to get the eggs and then Robux to hatch them. So um, do I recommend doing this at home? Absolutely not. Manually hatch these things. Do not spend all your Robux like me because we are, you're just going to regret it. You know, the amount of Robux we spent. Please be a legendary. It's got to be a chocolate Labrador. Five eggs left. Five eggs, guys. And we have hatched one legendary. We were meant to get at least three. At least three. Yes! Oh my word. What was that? The 96th egg. <laughs> 96 eggs. All right, so uh, <laughs> so far we got two. With the three eggs we have left, can I get the remaining legendary to match up with the 3% odd? So the odds are 3%. Can we get the remaining legendary? I beg. I beg. We have, we've got one egg left after this. We're going to manually hatch that one. We have to manually hatch it. This is the second from last egg. This has got to be good. This has to be a legendary. We got a chocolate Labrador. This is my final egg. My final egg, guys. This is it. We've got two legendaries. Final egg inside of Adopt Me. Will I become uh, rich? No, I spent <laughs> hundreds of dollars on this. Hopefully you guys like watching me suffer because that's what you've witnessed today. Um, <laughs> I will 100% not be opening these again. This is the final egg for Mr. Eggy. Will you give me the legendary? Let's see, what are we gonna get? The final of the retired egg, which I will be retiring after spending all my money hatching this. Please be a legendary, please, please, please. And we got a buffalo. You need to see these best Adopt Me house builds. One bug versus 100,000 bucks. Click here on screen to watch it right now.